Well, I've got a quirky British First World War poster. Okay, um, don't keep more servants than you really need. Yeah, that, that one I followed all my life, so... Uh, yeah, so have I. Uh, <laughs> I've been collecting military for years and uh, bought a huge collection of British First War and Victorian items, and this poster is part of it. I set this aside because the wife liked it, but now I'm nearing retirement, so the wife says a lot of our stuff needs to go. Interesting. We're used to seeing a lot of World War I posters you know, here in the States. The most expensive one, a desirable one of those, is uh, the girl that's dressed up in a Navy uniform. And the header was, I wish I was a man so I could join the Navy. Sure. And um, the British were basically doing the same thing. This was obviously printed before 1918. 1918 was when actual rationing went into place in England. Mm -hmm. So before that, they were suggesting you, um, you know, don't drive as much because they needed the gasoline. Don't buy new clothes because they wanted more wartime production of military clothing than civilian clothing. And um, this was a time in uh, England where if you were middle class, you usually had a cleaning lady or a handyman around the house if you had a big house. I mean, it's all legit. It's the right paper. You can see how it's aged a little bit. And also, the fake ones, they always put a year on it. So people go, look, it's, you know, 100 years old. Sure. <laughs> right. Yeah. How much you want for it? I was figuring around like 175. <sighs> That's a little much for this one. The World War I posters from England are all the ones with the battle scenes on right. it. It's neat. It's great history, but mm -hmm. it's sort of blah compared to the other ones. And um, I'd give you 50 bucks for it. Um, how about 75? I'd give you 50 bucks. I'm being really generous here. Well, the, w the wife says we need to downsize and uh, go green, which means convert to uh, dead presidents. So uh, <laughs> I guess I guess I'll accept your offer. All right, we got a deal. Sure, thank you. I'll meet you right over there, and I'll get you paid. OK, great. All right, cool. Well. I'm going to get some dead presidents, but not as many as I expected. I'm going to take the money and reinvest in a nice restaurant meal for the wife and myself. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.